In the dying days of the Sega Dreamcast, a system that earned so much hype during its inception in the late 90s, one shooter stood out among all others in an age where the term shooter resonated not entirely with fans of games like Doom, Quake, and Wolfenstein, but those that held Raiden, Batsugun, and Radiant Silver Gun high upon the mountain that houses the pantheon of all-time greatest shmups. In short, these games were tailor-made for a cult following. Ikaruga is one of those games, a bullet hell masterpiece developed and published by Treasure, and originally released in Japanese arcades. Ikaruga was never exactly meant to expand its visually brilliant boundaries past the loud pachinko parlors and video arcades of Japan, but the Dreamcast port was so well received that Nintendo decided to grant Treasure well-deserved licensure for a GameCube port to be released in the good old US of A. One of these strange Ikaruga cultists is none other than Jared from Pittsburgh, who decided he had to have it, and I thank him for his contribution to the CGR cause. Well, if you played one shmup, you'll be able to understand the premise of Ikaruga pretty easily. You're basically humanity's last chance saloon, a ballsy starfighter pilot who has put the burden of your people on your back the single target of a horde of space-age killing machines. The trademark of Ikaruga is simple. Besides shooting down your enemies, on the other side of the coin you have an ability to change your space fighter between black and white, and you will be switching polarities often throughout the game if you want to stand a ghost of a chance. White absorbs white bullets and black absorbs black bullets, a strategy known to shmup fans as bullet or dot eater, and once you've collected enough energy from your unsuspecting enemies, you're able to unleash a devastating laser attack that will sweep them away into oblivion. It's a theory that sounds simple, but the implementation of such a strategy is difficult, to say the least. It's where I wish I had chameleon eyes, one eye on the position of my enemies, the other on mine, dodging their attacks. Sometimes the board will be covered in one single color, other times you'll have to battle through a mix of both, causing confusion. So, it's important to know the right time to attack and dodge, because, well, a single hit will kill you. From this explanation, it is simple to see that this game is not for the impatient. You'll get killed hundreds of times before you finally find the rhythm that will lead you to hero status. Feel like the only thing setting you back is that one part of the stage? You can practice it as much as you want in conquest mode, where you can pick apart your weak points in the game and fine tune your skills. As well as conquest, you can use demo play to slow down the game to half its speed while you watch and learn. Another extra in Ikaruga is the challenge mode, made for the competitive gamer with an internet connection, where you can blast away against cultists like yourself. There's no doubt that Ikaruga is simple in its development and gameplay, but difficult enough that you're going to be spending more than just an afternoon in your living room trying to beat just five stages. It's a game that will earn the respect of both die-hard shooter fans and newbies alike, and will ensure your total and utter assimilation into the confusing, but always entertaining, world of shmups.